how NPS tier 2 account withdrawals are taxed. That's our topic for discussion today in the Market Secrets Tax Saving Series on Investments. Before we get into today's session, I'd like to mention that Market Secrets has recently launched Algo Traders program ATP. If you are someone who is interested in learning end to end algo trading, then use the link in the description section of this video to learn more about ATP. And with that note, let's jump into today's session on taxation of NPS Tier 2 account. So in the earlier episode, we have talked about NPS Tier 1 taxation. So NPS has two different types of accounts that is Tier 1 and Tier 2. And Tier 1 account is the main account and is mandatory whereas opening of Tier 2 account is optional. So Tier 2 account is like a savings back account where you can deposit and withdraw money as and when you want. One can transfer money any time from Tier 2 account to Tier 1 account but not vice versa. All subscribers are eligible for tax benefit for contribution made to Tier 1 account but tax benefits to Tier 2 account contributions are available only to central government employees and that too with a lock-in period of 3 years but that is too complicated it's easy to go with ATC. So don't think tier 2 account as a tax saving account it's just like your savings bank account where you can deposit and withdraw money and it's totally an optional thing you don't even have to open a tier 2 account it's completely optional but when it comes to taxation there are no specific provisions for taxation of withdrawals from tier 2 account legally yes there's no specific or direct provisions for taxation of withdrawals from tier 2 account under the income tax act so that is where the complexity begins. There is no law to tax tier 2 account. But if there is no law, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you can consider it as a tax-free item, okay? If tax law does not have any specific provisions for taxation of any item, it does not become tax-free by default, okay? We need to analyze and, you know, put it into the right uh, bucket of taxation, okay? Uh, since there is no legal provision, right? So, we need to go with, uh, you know, a logical assumption here. From my experience, what I'm suggesting is, don't invest in tier 2 account until government clears the taxation on its withdrawal but if you still want to invest i would suggest consider not withdrawing from it until uh, this taxation clarity is provided by the government so you can still invest but don't withdraw it until you have the clarity but if you still want to withdraw uh, any money from tier 2 uh, nps account you have to apply uh, logic and take help of other provisions of the law so withdrawal from tier 2 accounts are like regular withdrawals from your savings bank account which are not tax except to the extent of interest earned. So this is the logical way uh, you can you know go for the NPS tier 2 taxation. So you don't have to I mean if you look at the tier 1 taxation right will be taxed on the whole corpus not just the gains. If you look at the tier 1 NPS taxation will be taxed on the whole uh, corpus that is available uh, during the withdrawal phase not just the returns that we have earned but when it comes to tier 2 uh, you know since there is no uh, tax benefit for investing into tier 2 we can consider only the gains part of tier 2 account for taxation that is what you need to understand here so it's like your savings bank account so if you have uh, 3 lakh rupees in your savings bank account and over uh, the, the few years of uh, interest payment if it has gone to you know uh, 4 lakhs right only that uh, difference of 1 lakh that uh, that is what your gains is right only that will be taxed so likewise you need to follow a similar approach for uh, NPS tier 2 account so you need to take that 1 lakh rupees of gains for uh, the tax calculation but if it is tier 1 account the whole 4 lakhs even uh, the amount that was there at the start right that will be considered uh, while uh, go we go for the taxation okay so that is the difference here so you need to be very clear about it but still there is another complexity here since the investment made in tier 2 account does not carry any fixed rate of interest like fixed deposits or bonds or debentures right the appreciation and the value of the investment cannot be taxed under the head income from other sources you cannot uh, you know claim this under income from other sources uh, so you need to pro, uh, you know find another provision uh, under which it, this can fit in 
so if you take nps right uh, the subscribers are usually allotted units for their investments in different categories of funds okay so there are different categories in nps so that is equity corporate bonds government bonds and you know alternate asset classes right so you know based on the contribution that you are providing under each of these classes right uh, you'll be provided with net asset value which is nav at the time of investment okay so since uh, this nav is being provided at the time of investment right so this is logical to treat the con contribution to tier to account as investments and treat any profits there on as capital gains so that is what uh, you need to understand next so since uh, we have the nav being calculated right you can consider this as an investment contribution and treat the profits like capital gains again this is an assumption that we are going with here okay so since there is no legal provision here we are going with an assumption that this can be taxed as a capital gains that is nps tier 2 profits can be uh, taxed as a capital gains and now comes the next complexity since investment in nps can neither be called listed equity shares nor can be treated as unit of equity mutual funds it shall become long term only if the units are sold after 36 months and since security transaction tax that is stt is not paid at the time of redemption of nps the same cannot be taxed as equity oriented schemes under section 112a even in the respect of equity competent so even though we have an equity competent in nps investment it cannot be taxed as an equity oriented scheme because of stt not being paid at the time of redemption so with all of this being said there is just only one option now nps can be taxed i mean the nps tier 2 account can be taxed at a flat 20 percentage after indexation if it is held more than 36 months but if the units are redeemed within 36 months the profit on the redemption is to be treated as short term capital gains and it should be included in your regular income and it should be taxed at your slab rate that is how the taxation should be done for nps that is Uh, if it is less than 36 months it, you will be taxed at the slab rate under stcg and if it is uh, you know greater than uh, 36 months so i mean if the period of holding is greater than 36 months then you can be taxed at 20 percentage flat after indexation benefits but please note that this is based on my assumption i mean there is no legal provision right i have clearly mentioned this earlier so there is no legal position here there is no uh, law that clearly explains how this nps tier to taxation works so in this absence of this particular provisions uh, so in absence of the specific and direct provisions in the income tax act i'm giving purely my opinion so you need to do your research and you know make the informed choice yourself okay so in the view of confusion surrounding the tax on withdrawal of tier 2 account it is the duty of the government to make the legal provisions or legal positions clear as early as possible this will help many people to take the decision to avail the benefit of low cost investment option provided by tier 2 account you all know that uh, you know the tier 2 investments uh, in nps right it provides lot of other uh, benefits like you know uh, the lowest investment cost so if you people who wants to take advantage of the trade right, the government have to pitch in here and clarify the stand on uh, uh, you know the taxation of nps tier 2 so i suggest if you haven't started i uh, you should better wait uh, but if you have already started hold the withdrawals and in case if you want to withdraw it for some uh, emergency or so then uh, you know consider whatever uh, uh, the items that i have mentioned do your research and make an informed choice so that's all i had on uh, taxation of nps tier 2 account if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode leave it down in the comment section i'll be happy to address it also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye